Dear Minister, dear friend, dear brother, uh, dear colleagues, uh, thank you, uh, Excellency, for the warm hospitality extended to me and my delegation during this visit. Yesterday I uh, already had a fruitful uh, meetings with your Prime Minister and also the Vice President of the Parliament. This follows our previous uh, active engagement uh, uh, engagements. I already recall your official visit to Yerevan uh, last February, as well as my visit to uh, Croatia last July and our exchanges at the Dubrovnik Forum. Of course, we should uh, stress that this year is special for our bilateral relations, as we mark the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations. During the past three decades, our states have made important efforts in that developing high-level political dialogue and mutually beneficial cooperation. I note with satisfaction that our recent reciprocal visits and active interactions reflect the positive dynamics and our, our, of our balance of relations as well as the readiness to further enhance our agenda, deepen the cooperation uh, in various fields and the different platforms and of course strengthen the, the ties between our two friendly nations. Dear attendees, during our discussions today we touched upon uh, a number of issues of bilateral agenda and possibilities to develop cooperation in different sectors including economy, culture, IT, tourism, education. Along with the development of the political dialogue, there is huge untapped potential in the economy sphere. While the business forum held in Yerba during the minister's visit last uh, February was of particular importance, we are keen to promote and expand the trade and economic cooperation to achieve uh, tangible outcomes. We also discussed the ongoing processes and steps undertaken to, to further enhance the Armenian-EU partnership. The aspirations of our citizens to see the further deepening of this relationship is based on shared values upheld by Armenia, Croatia and the European Union, particularly in the realms of uh, democracy, protection of human rights and other fundamental principles. At the same time, our commitment derives from the vision of a better and more secure environment for our citizens. Thus, with my Croatian counterpart, we looked into the whole spectrum of Armenia-EU <coughs> relations covering our democratic reform agenda, people-to-people -people contacts, visa liberalization dialogue, economic cooperation, as well as security matters. In this context, uh, uh, I am glad to underline that the Armenia-EU partnership is being enhanced, enhanced with new dimensions namely the EU monitoring mission and security dialogue. Today we also had the chance to touch upon issues of cooperation in multilateral fora with the international organizations where Armenia and Croatia already have or will further benefit from closer cooperation. Dear colleagues, <coughs> we exchanged uh, views on international and regional security topics. I thoroughly updated my counterpart on the situation in the South Caucasus. As mentioned, we had earlier opportunities to discuss Armenia's vision of establishing stability and peace in, uh, in the region, efforts aimed at overcoming the challenges and developing regional connectivity. Unfortunately, we see rhetoric and statements on the high uh, level Azerbaijan officials uh, statements that continue challenging the rule-based order, territorial integrity, sovereignty of Armenia, and hence the prospects of lasting peace in the region. I want to stress that we believe our partners interested in stability in the South Caucasus share the same approach, that peace requires unwavering commitment and genuine interest in lasting solutions. Armenia's position has been very clear on possible solutions based on well-known principles and agreements. Uh, countries should recognize each other's territorial integrities without any ambiguity. The peace treaty should provide some clear uh, foundations, uh, namely uh, the uh, sort of clear foundations regarding the further delimitation process, which according to our belief should take place in accordance with the Armati Declaration, 
and uh, based on the freshest and legitimate uh, Soviet uh, Union maps. We also are uh, uh, sure that the connectivity uh, that can be unlocked in the region, the, the connectivity, the connections, the economic and transport infrastructures, could help also uh, to advance to lasting peace uh, in the region. And we believe that all the infrastructure that are going to be unlocked should be unlocked according to the and under, under uh, sovereignty and national jurisdictions of the countries and uh, in accordance with the principles of uh, equality and reciprocity. To, uh, uh, moreover, to uh, promote this idea of peace and connectivity, uh, the government of Republic of Armenia came up with the initiative of Crossroads of Peace, which is, uh, as I said, about increasing unlocking the infrastructure and increasing the connectivity, interconnectivity in the region. Um, we will attend this, uh, we would like to start the Minister the Urban. Thank you once again for your invitation and for the discussions we have today. And I'm confident that uh, these discussions will provide an excellent basis uh, for further partnership and cooperation. Thank you.